Welcome to my series on learning 3D LUT Creator. Today we're going to be going over how you can make multiple versions of a LUT while you're in 3D LUT Creator. Also, we're going to talk about how to send more than one LUT to the same image in Photoshop. And what that will let you do is you can send over multiple versions of the LUT so that you can mix, match, combine, mask, whatever you'd like to do. But also, there's another big benefit of that, because what it will let you do is, while you're in Photoshop, make a LUT at the beginning of your workflow, do work in Photoshop if you'd like, and then at the end of your Photoshop work, potentially make a, sudden, a second LUT for fine-tuning colors, brightness, or whatever aspect of the photo that you'd like to. Now, if you'd like to refresh your memory on some of the material that we've covered before in the series, I'm going to leave a link to the Learning 3D LUT Creator series up above. And if you enjoy content like this, I would truly appreciate your support by having you click on the subscribe button below and giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps. Let's get to the video. Being able to work on multiple versions of an image at once is really a great feature of 3D LUT Creator. In fact, you can work on editing three versions at once, and if you were so inclined, you could send those versions over to Photoshop to mix and match, to mask, to change blend modes, or to delete once you figure out which one you want to keep. And then you can even continue to work on even more versions of the image after you've exported the LUTs. Let's have a look. I'm going to bring an image into 3D LUT Creator from Photoshop and work on several versions. I'm going to give them bizarre colors and effects that I would normally never do in order to make each version easily recognizable so we can keep track of it. Let's bring an image in. So as usual, we'll come down here, click on Image from Photoshop, and here's what we'll give different effects to. So let's go ahead and give this image some nasty effects that we can keep track of. Probably the easiest place to do that might be in the 2D curves. So let's come over here and mess up our image. And if you remember, when we go to the left, we're going to make the image orange. I'll also put a link to the video that goes over 2D curves in case you want to review that. But let's make an orange version, a nasty orange version of this image. So that'll be our version one. So how do we get to and make another version of this? while still saving and keeping and having this first version available. Well, if we come right here to the Edit menu, we can drop down and we can see Versions. And this dot tells us that we're on version 1. It also tells us what the shortcuts are, the keyboard shortcuts, to get to this version. Version 1 is Control-Alt-1. Version 2 Control Alt 2 and version 3, Control Alt 3. So we're on version 1. Let's see what happens if we go to version 2. We'll just click on that instead of using the keyboard shortcut at the moment. And you can see that our image is restored right to the way it was when we imported it into 3D LUT Creator. Now, we still have version 1 available. If we come back here, to versions and click on version 1, we still have our nasty orange version. Let's go to version 2, and I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut this time, Control-Alt-2, and we're back to our version 2, which is our original image that we've not done anything to yet. So, if you'll recall, when we take points and move them to the right, on this second grid in the 2D curves, the image turns red. Again, it's red on top of whatever colors were there to start with. So this is our nasty red image. Now, we can easily go and make a third version with another nasty color, but I want to show you one other little trick here. So if we go to Edit, Versions. If we went to version 3, we would start with a brand new copy of the image as it was imported. 
But let's say we've reached this point and we like where we are now, but we'd like to go down another path and explore another path, path while still maintaining this version in reserve to come back to. Well, we have this menu here, copy from other version. So we can go to version three and copy version two onto version three. And if you'll note now, version two and version three are exactly the same. Now we're on version three and we can keep version two saved and make changes from there. Let's say we went on this version three and we went to the channel mixer and I don't know, let's just see what we can, what bizarre thing we can come up with here. Okay, this what? this will be our electric green version. So now I'm going to go to the versions and you can see that we have version one, which is our orange version. Version two, which is our reddish version. And version three, which is our electric green version. Now, of course, we can always continue um, to work on any version we want. I mean, we can come back to version one and decide we want to make, you know, more changes to it. And that makes it even sort of more odd looking. And then once we're done, we have three versions within 3D LUT Creator that we can work on and use. So now how can we get all these LUTs to Photoshop so we can save and use and decide between them? Well, there's a little gotcha here that's easily remedied that I just have to show you. So this is version one. We're going to send the LUT to Photoshop. And there's our orange version. And here's the LUT. Let's go back to 3D LUT Creator, and I'm going to show you the gotcha. I'm going to press Alt, Control, 2, and bring up our second red version. And we will send this LUT to Photoshop. Now, we would expect this to come in as a second LUT layer. Let's have a look. Well, instead of coming in as a second LUT layer, what it's done is replace the version 1 layer with the version 2 layer, which isn't what we wanted because we might want to save these in Photoshop to play around with. There's a very easy way to get around this. You see, 3D LUT Creator does this because for some reason it only likes one 3D LUT Creator coming over to Photoshop. But if I were simply to come here and rename this LUT, to say version 2, so it's no longer named 3D LUT Creator, and then go back to 3D LUT Creator. I'm going to press alt Control one and we'll bring up our orange version, version 1. Come down here, we'll send the LUT to Photoshop, and lo and behold, well, I'll turn this one off, there's our orange version, there's our red version. Now I'm going to come here and just rename it from 3D LUT Creator to say version 2. We can go back to 3D LUT Creator. I'm going to press Alt Control 3 to bring up our electric green version. LUT to Photoshop. And there it is. Again, this is named 3D LUT Create or something. And here, let's turn that one off so we can see we have our lime green one. 
If this is it, we can leave it at that. Or if there's a thought that we might want to try others, we can just come right here and rename that version 3. And, you know, to rename, you just double-click on, on the name, and it'll let you rename it. So now we have all three versions in Photoshop that we can either play around with, combine, mask, change, change blend modes, Here's the blend modes, whatever you want. And we have them all here to play with. And now if we wanted to go back and change something, okay, here we have our version. Now we're making it electric maroon. We could send that one to Photoshop as well. And there's our electric maroon one. So we have them all stacked up, and again, we can combine, do whatever we want. But that is how you do multiple versions of an image in 3D LUT Creator, can have all the versions to work on and export the LUTs over to 3D LUT Creator, over to Photoshop, excuse me. I should also point out that this is the same method that if you had put a LUT in, from 3D LUT Creator way down in the layer stack. And then you had made modifications with various layers in Photoshop. And then, you know, you th want to change a color a little bit or color grade and you want to go back to 3D LUT Creator. You can re-import that photo to 3D LUT Creator and create an adjustment LUT to go on top of the stack. You just have to name that original LUT. You just have to rename it to LUT1 or something along those lines. So you can always bring a second LUT into Photoshop from 3D LUT Creator as you're working the image. Just rename that first one. Now, let me go back to 3D LUT Creator for just a moment. Let's say we wanted to save this LUT to work on later, not necessarily in Photoshop, but in 3D LUT Creator, we'd like to come back uh, and you know, make some more modifications. We got to go to dinner or something. You can come right here and go to File, Export, Export 3D LUT file. And this is the uh, 3D LUT file folder that you picked in your preferences initially. And we can, I don't know, we can name it Maroon red or whatever uh, and save it. The 3D LUT is saved and we can use that and re-import it into 3D LUT Creator. Uh, let me exit 3D LUT Creator. We're not going to save it. Let's turn this off. Go back to 3D LUT Creator. Bring that image in from Photoshop. And then we can go to Edit. I'm sorry, File. Load Preset. Here's our maroon. We're right back to where we were. And then, of course, you know, we can decide to make changes or do whatever we want and resave it or re-export it to Photoshop as a new LUT. So that's how you work on multiple versions of the same LUT. That's how you bring them over to Photoshop, and that's how you save them. Well, I do hope you found this video useful. And if you enjoy content like this, I would truly appreciate your support by having you click on that subscribe button below, give the video a thumbs up, and why not drop a comment if you'd like. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.